what we've got here today is a um, set of old theatre chairs and Carmela and I are going to uh, start the documentation process. The, as you can see these chairs are in very poor condition we're going to have to disassemble all the parts and uh, clearly identify where each part belongs uh, and then we'll be able to treat each, each section uh, separately and what we've made up here is a, a bit of a plan, a map on how to how the whole thing goes together and identified uh, legs which are metal, uh, wooden armrests, chair backs and we also have some actual seat parts which are located on the bench behind us and uh, yeah so what we've got is these little metal pieces on a cable tie I'll just put that around here to clearly be sure that that's the one that goes there according to our plan we're using a paper label to attach to the wooden components uh, in this case the armrest and uh, indicating on exactly where the part goes in relation to the leg and our drawing. Uh, this label will be easy to remove as we process the treatment on the armrest. So I've removed all the components from the chair legs and uh, I've given them a really good vacuum to get the worst of the debris off, the dust and the dirt, the wasp nests, insects, insect nests. Uh, and now I've brought it over to the sink and I'm going to wash it with a a specially formulated soap solution and uh, I'll be washing it with a stiff brush just dipping it into a beaker. Um, I'm going to start washing from the top down so that I'm just going to get the dirt off in an ev as evenly as possible and spreading the solution over in this first instance just to just to see what's coming off turning it over getting the other side we don't want to create any watermarks which is sometimes possible when you're using a cleaning solution Sp spreading it evenly and letting it soak as evenly as possible you've got total control over this with the uh, brushing method. I'll just turn this water on and give this a, a rinse with some of the... You can see the dirt coming out the bottom of the sink. It's quite still a lot of dirt on there. Turn it over. And before I go any further with any further washing, I'm just going to pad that off a bit with um, a blotting paper and be able to see the extent of that process, see how well it's taken the dirt off. Nope. Yeah, and that's looking really nice. We're going to get great results with this. And I think I'll go ahead and give it another another mild wash. I just want to be sure that I'm not taking off any uh, of the, the painted surface. Sometimes you have to just be a little bit careful with cleaning solutions. And once it's all dry, I would probably consider doing a nice thin layer of a protective wax over the whole surface area, which will protect it from the elements and and just give it a slight, a slight bit more of enhancement in colour and look really, really cared for and well loved and still look original. I think that looks pretty good. I'm very happy with that. As you can see, the chairs have arrived and um, we talked earlier about working on the metal component, but my job is to look after the, 
the fabric um, on these chairs and it's a lovely, well it was, um, a lovely velvet um, fabric. Over time it's faded, it's lost its beautiful pile. You can see the, the threads coming through underneath and there's also dirt and bird droppings um, which is an area that we'll have to work on and remove all that, that dirt to help stabilise it. Also we've got lots of tears and breakage along one of the sides so another challenge is to strengthen that fabric so that we can reattach it to the other side of the um, chair. So in, in this area here there's a lot of damage, it's actually come away from the side of the chair um, and we'll need to stabilise that so we can re possibly rejoin it. There's also previous repair there um, which we'll need to stabilise as well and when I mean stabilise it, it's to strengthen it so that it, the repair um, doesn't cause further damage. Um, that's been put in there previously. So here we have two components together and you can see it's there's quite a difference between the original part as was found underneath the theatre where you've got large build-up of dirt and yes you know, quite a considerable amount of corrosion and then the piece that's been completely washed, cleaned and treated and finally waxed. It has a very, very nice appearance, a very honourable appearance and it should match up really, really well with the uh, fabric covered seats. And I'm very happy with that result. So the next stage after having examined the, um, the chairs and worked out what treatment is required, um, decided that vacuuming um, would be the initial process that we'd undertake and when I uh, discuss vacuuming it's not your um, vacuuming the carpet at home or anything like that we do use specialist um, vacuum cleaners with varying suction and being a very uh, fragile fabric we don't want strong suction um, against that fabric we want it quite low but enough to release the dirt um, that's sitting um, within the fibres we also um, use various brushes and, and a filter to actually determine or just to see how much of that dirt is coming away so we actually realise that it is um, cleaning. Once that's done then I'll undertake a, a wet clean um, where I'll use some moisture, water, deionised water and blotters to blot the excess dirt away from the, um, the fabric. Okay so ready to undertake the vacuuming process and I've just attached a filter um, to the nozzle of the vacuum cleaner and this will capture any of the dirt that I extract from the chair which can then be used for analysis further um, down the track if needed. So now um, what I've attached to the filter is a soft um, brush so that when I place that against the fabric um, it's not going to damage it um, and that's attached to the vacuum cleaner. Commencing the vacuuming process where I place the brush over the surface and just gently run it over the pile and moving across and this will release the dirt trapped underneath the, the pile of the fabric. And also get right in between the, the weave as well. And I can go back now and just run it gently over the surface. Okay, so you can see in the filter just in here that we have collected some loose particles. So once the vacuuming has been completed, um, the next step 
to release more of that um, dirt trapped in those fibres is a wet clean where I'm going to use some deionised water to a neutral pH, applying that to a microfibre cloth, then gently massage that over the surface. So it's just moving those fibres around and the cloth will take some of that dirt up. Finally, I then grab some acid-free blotter, which I then blot the excess moisture away and that'll also release some more of that dirt. And as you can see, it has picked up a lot more of that surface dirt. Now also just to finalise the, the fibres and just to bring them up again because it is a pile, I will use a dental aspirator and that gives me a, a small bit of a suction and also to help dry the fibres quickly and also bring up the pile again. Here we have the uh, wooden chairs from the same theatre. Uh, they were stored in the same place. Similar sort of build up of dirt and dust and debris, insect uh, activity like spider webs and wasp nests, bird droppings and they were quite, quite unsightly when we got them here. Um, so the process between this, the, the work we did on these chairs as compared to the others is probably similar but different, uh, different levels of uh, activity. Um, had to be a little bit more careful about, you know, the strength of the, the mechanical strength of the object. Uh, the timber is quite dry and twisted and uh, was very resistant to any movement so we firstly had to assess you know how far we could go with a with a treatment on this one. The chairs have a lot of screws and nuts and bolts and nails holding it all together and they they show quite a amount of corrosion product on their exposed parts but they're not active so we've chosen just to leave them in this condition. The runs were filled with dust and dirt and wasp nests, insect nests and it made it very difficult to fold the chairs up and down so we've cleaned all those runs out. All picture theatre chairs seem to have chewing gum on them somewhere. This set of chairs has got quite a bit of chewing gum on it, uh, usually underneath the seats, but this is a slightly more unusual one. We've actually got it on the seat back, which is also part of the object and will be preserved in that state. But generally, they came up really well after the treatment and they look natural, they look well used as they were and they're clean and look quite acceptable and should look terrific on display to complement the uh, plush chairs. Well I'm just about the end of the conservation treatment um, for the chairs before they all get put together which is an exciting part of the process but what I'm doing here is just applying a very fine gauze over the fragile fabric and then stitching it around all four sides. And in doing this, I need to use a curved needle um, so that it's easy for me to get underneath the, um, the upholstery fabric without damaging the fibres and using a very fine thread as well. It's been an interesting project and yeah, quite challenging as well in, in, at places.